Hi guys, and welcome back to Petrolhead Podcasts. The Tesla Model 3 has been one of the most popular EVs in the world since its introduction in 2017, thanks to its blend of everyday usability, good range, and a modern interior, all at an attainable price. However, I have always felt that the original Model 3's build quality as well as driving experience lack the level of polish that more established luxury brands are able to deliver. For 2024, the Model 3 has gotten a comprehensive refresh. I recently had the chance to test drive the updated US spec Model 3, and here are my impressions of the vehicle. The car I drove was the base rear-wheel drive configuration, which currently costs $38,990, has a single motor with 57.5 kilowatt hours, a range of up to 272 miles, and accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds. First of all, in terms of exterior styling, I think the new Model 3's changes are very effective. The less cluttered front end with the slimmer headlights is more modern looking than its predecessor, and the side profile, while unchanged, still looks clean. Round back, the new tail lights again look more modern, and combined with the new Tesla script on the trunk, contribute to an altogether more upmarket look, especially when paired with the 19-inch wheels like the car I test drove had. Moving inside, I was very impressed by the new Model 3's fit and finish and build quality. Just about everywhere you can touch on the dashboard is covered in soft touch material. Even the lower parts of the door cards, something that sedans from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes don't even have at this price point. The smooth fabric covering parts of the doors and dashboard and the felt-lined door bins also add to the upmarket feeling. The seats themselves feel pretty soft and of good quality. The new ambient lighting running across the dash adds a sense of luxury. Additionally, Tesla's software remains very fast, easy to use, and the 15.4-inch screen feels huge for a car of the Model 3's size. The slimmed-down bezels of the screen are also noticeable and make the cabin feel more modern. The new steering wheel, however, is a mixed bag. The design is nice and a welcome change compared to the old car, but the complete lack of stalks takes getting used to and the previous car's stalks for indicators and drive selector work much more intuitively. In the back seat, the Model 3 is not the most spacious, but the good sense of quality carries through and it is great to see amenities like the rear seat screen, a fold-down armrest and the glass roof that extends over the rear seats. In terms of driving experience, I was very pleasantly surprised by the new Model 3. The new suspension has resulted in a ride that is very plush, especially compared to other cars that cost less than $40,000. At low speeds, there is a feeling of being isolated from the road that you typically only expect on a much more expensive luxury car, and the car deals with bumps and undulations very well, feeling comfortable, composed, and sure-footed. Noise levels are also surprisingly low, with the new acoustic glass ensuring you just don't hear anything outside of the vehicle when on the move. The new focus on luxury and refinement is also not to the detriment of handling, as the Model 3 still feels very planted and flat through corners, much to my surprise. The electric motor, which is unchanged, remains great, offering very good acceleration and responsiveness on the move. The only downsides to the driving experience are that the regenerative braking feels too strong in my opinion, almost slowing the car to a complete stop when lifting off. The steering is light and lacks feedback, and the lack of any gauge cluster or head-up display is an annoyance on the move. Overall, I am very impressed with the Model 3. Despite a look that has only changed slightly, Tesla has significantly improved the car. The updates to the exterior make the car more sporty and youthful looking. The new interior feels very high quality for the price, and the new suspension and acoustic glass combine to give the Model 3 a near-luxury car feeling. I also think that the Model 3, which now starts at less than $40,000, represents really good value for money considering all of the great engineering that has gone into this new car. So, what do you guys think of the new Model 3? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to be the first to see more amazing content like this in the future. Cheers.